So we've completed our A3 radial socket circuit and we've done our continuity of CPC and polarity test and our insulation resistance test and now we're going live with this installation. We're only working out of level one and level two with this job so all I need us to do is a test that I call recheck polarity which requires us to put in a plug-in voltage indicator and see if the appropriate lights on the front illuminate as well as carrying out the functional test so in other words making sure the switches actually turn on and off the socket outlets the RCCB will operate as well as the appropriate circuit breaker for the circuit under test. So we're going to do recheck polarity and functional testing in this part of the video presentation. So our supply has been connected and it's been connected to a TN earthing arrangement, in this case TNCS earthing arrangement and we're going to use our plug-in voltage indicator at each of the socket outlets on our A3 radial socket circuit. The tester itself will never tell us if we've got a reverse polarity between the earth, in this case the CPC and circuit, and neutral. However, it will prove polarity of some of the other conductors. And it's expressed on the front of the actual plug-in voltage indicator what it is actually checking for. This is a recheck of polarity. We have completed our continuity of CPC and polarity test dead. And we're now going to recheck it using our plug-in voltage indicator. But bearing in mind that we know that it wouldn't pick up a reverse protective conductor and neutral. So I'm going to plug this voltage indicator into each socket in turn. And for us, it should have two green lights on this style. The mega plug-in voltage indicator has two green lights. You must check the one you're using to see what suggests is correct and turn it off. By operating the switch, we're proving that's functional, so it turns it on and off. So we're doing both rechecking polarity and functional testing at the same time. We need to come to the other side of the socket outlet because the switch on the other side could have failed. And again, we have two green lights and off we go again. And we move around the circuit, performing the same test at each point. And we can see we've rechecked polarity as best we can with a plug-in voltage indicator. Remember, it won't prove a reversed earth or CPC and neutral connection. And we've proved the functionality of the switches. So each switch of the socket outlets turns on and off. We now need to prove the functionality of the glorified switches within the consumer unit, the RCCB and the circuit breaker. So if we plug it back in again, in any socket on the circuit and leave it on, go to the distribution board and if I was to press the test button on the RCCB, in this case, the whole installation would go off. There is only one circuit and it does go off. So it's proved the mechanism of that is functional and reset it. And we choose the appropriate circuit breaker in the distribution board. I know there is only one, it's a 20 amp type B circuit breaker. But if there was many circuit breakers in there, when I turn off the one I expected to be for the A3 radial socket circuit, I'd expect to see that circuit go off and not suggesting the upstairs lights would go off. Therefore, we're proving it's on the right circuit. So we've proved that is also functional. It makes and breaks the circuit. So let's recap them. We've rechecked polarity to a certain degree using a plug-in voltage indicator. We've proved the switches operate at each socket outlet, as well as the glorified switches within the consumer unit as part of our functional testing. That's as far as we take it at level one and level two. I hope this video has been some help.